So here's a guitar I just uh, finished up here recently. Uh, it's a Dreadnought guitar, uh, 14 fret Dreadnought. And uh, this one has uh, Adirondack spruce top uh, with Brazilian rosewood on the back and sides. Uh, a mahogany neck, uh, Brazilian rosewood, uh, headstock overlay, an ebony fingerboard and an ebony bridge. Um, has a herringbone and purfling with uh, ivoroid bindings around it. Um, inch and three quarter nut and two and five sixteenths at the bridge. So it's kind of that traditional spacing. Um, has the diamond square inlays and um, the neck the profile on this one is pretty similar to a to like a 37 D28 except it's a little bit thinner I think some of those necks are just a little bit too big uh, especially if you want to play like really fancy chords where you have to stretch quite a bit those big necks kind of get in the way of that in my opinion but the shape is pretty similar to those old Martins uh, Kind of a C, maybe a soft V at the at the first fret, and that V gets a little bit more pronounced as it gets further up the neck. And um, the action on this guitar is pretty much ideal. I mean, it's high enough to where you can really. <laughs> But it's also low enough to where you can play lead very comfortably. And this does have medium gauge uh, elixir strings on it. Um, and I do put a two way truss rod in the neck um, and carbon fiber rods on each side of that. So it's a very very stable neck. Um, let's see. And forward shifted, X bracing, scalloped. Um, I've got plans from John Arnold of his personal 1937 D28. So I get my braces within a few thousandths of that normally. Um, and the sound is. Satisfactory, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, this is a nitro, nitrocellulose lacquer finish, um, and the bone nut and bone saddle. Um, Sounds great. It's a lot of fun to play. Easy to play. Uh, and this guitar is for sale. So if you think this one might be for you, uh, I'll leave all my contact info uh, in the description. And I also do a lot of custom orders. So if there's something you're thinking about, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to, to help any way I can. So, Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.